Hey Anna, week, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna empty the van of all the uh, stuff that was in it before the repairs. Yeah, because we couldn't open that uh, part. And after that we're gonna fill the water and we're gonna go to Germany for a workshop, right? Yep. Okay, so we already have the hose ready to fill the water. And then we're gonna pack everything in and we're gonna drive to Germany. Okay, so this is the camera bag we packed. We actually have the Sony A7R2 with the 24 to 70, a light meter, and of course my own Skyport, the Wacom tablet for uh, retouching, and we still have to get the Sigma 12 to 24, and of course the color checker from x -Ride. So, and then we're ready to go, and we already packed the RV, and then we're up to Germany. Okay, now we have a new gadget in the RV. Now, when traveling, you see a lot of crazy stuff on the road, especially when you're traveling in an RV. And one of the things that's, of course, well, it's not relatively new, but we never had one, is the dash cam. Now, you see those videos online with pirates on the road or whatever, and I've seen a lot of those things happening straight in front of me. And again, especially when you're driving an RV, people think that you're slow. And actually, this one isn't really slow. So we installed a uh, dash cam ourselves and um, I'm going to show you now how we did it. We still have to figure some things out but I think we did a pretty smart solution. Okay so there's the dash cam and you still see the GPS module going all the way down and we have to solve that. We're going to velcro that on top and we have one tether tools cable actually going all the way there, behind there, going there, under there. And this connector is actually from our car stereo, meaning it draws the power now from the car stereo. Now, this part, as you can see, where the black cloth is over, is actually our windshield, uh, how do you call it, blinds. So that has to be put up every night. Now, because of the cables, I don't have any time to, of course, totally uh, work the cable behind the dash. So we choose this solution. Now the only thing we have to do at night is just disconnect this cable and we can put the blinds up. So we don't need any uh, cigarette lighter connectors, we don't need any special wiring inside because I'm actually taking the dash cam out when I drive the other car. So this I think is a pretty cool solution. The only thing now again is the GPS module we mounted probably behind here and I hope you can see that. It's pretty high contrast difference. So then we also have GPS on the dash cam. So now this is actually how our cockpit looks. So we have the remote camera, we have the sat nav, we have our DAB plus radio and of course the rest. Okay, I'm gonna help in a week to uh, get more into the RV and then we're gonna leave. And by the way, we're first gonna make a stop to look at some e-bikes for our trip to Sweden. So that's gonna be interesting too. Okay, we're halfway to Germany and you didn't see the e-bike store and that's one of the things that I actually don't like about driving an RV. There was absolutely no way to park. They were in the middle of the town and the only place to park was actually like a, a parking garage and with an RV you don't go into a parking garage because you end up with half an RV in height so that's not a good idea. So in a week, are we going to get some lunch? Yes. Yes? Okay. And after that we're going to continue our trip to Germany. A small stop just before the German border to do some final interneting. Because we are Europeans. And that means that as soon as we cross the border we don't have internet anymore. Or you have to pay a lot of money. Well, we do have internet but that's only like 50 megabytes for free. So that's like one time checking your email and it's gone. So we're almost at the German border. Okay, we're almost at the border. And there's no speed limit in Germany. But with an RV we can go faster anyway. So that's a shame. But with a normal car it's always fun. Okay, we arrived at the restaurant. We will be having a meeting with our students to have a nice dinner. So let's go in because it's raining. I think we brought a little bit of the Dutch weather. Okay, so the place we're gonna have dinner. Hello, Annemiek. Hi. 
Hello. Hi. Okay, guys, say hi for the vlog. So we're all having dinner before the workshop tomorrow. Okay, so this is actually where we're gonna stay tonight. We asked the restaurant owner if it was okay. And he said, as long as you don't take up four parking spaces, which I actually do. But we leave tomorrow at eight, so it was no problem at all. So sometimes if you travel with an RV and you eat somewhere, just ask them if it's okay to stay. Now, I won't be uploading this today because they don't have internet over here. So tomorrow you're gonna get two behind the closed doors. One with the workshop and this one. So thank you so very much for watching this tomorrow. <laughs> and we'll see you tomorrow with the other one for the workshop. <laughs> bye bye guys, I'm gonna join Anna Week in the RV and we're gonna get some sleep. There she is. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>